What's goody warriors? We're in there. We're in there. Let's do this thing. I'm back. <laughs> Two videos in one week? I'm feeling it. I hope you are too. Let's do this thing. Once again, thank you so much to everybody for adding me on Twitter, adding me on Instagram, adding me on Facebook, adding me on you subscribing to me on YouTube, on Google Plus, everything. Thank you so much. I'm having such a good response every week and stuff like that. I lose subscribers. I gain subscribers. You know, I've had so many people. And, like, it's amazing. Like, you know, I've had, like, actors and actresses and, like, um, bloggers and streamers and all sorts of people. Um, magicians, um, voice actors, companies, indie developers add me on Twitter. You know, it's, it's actually it's amazing. You know, and I think it's because of the way we interact with each other, the warriors. You know, just like the other day I had like a, a discussion that I put up a video where I talked about console gaming and PC gaming and talked about it properly. Like we had a proper discussion about it. And you know, you can still see, you can still see the video and you still see the comments. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, they just come across my videos and stuff like that because I'm not, I don't have thousands of views on my videos you know what I mean I'm gonna do my videos just for you guys the warriors you know and stuff like that you know of course I'd like to have more views and stuff like that because that means I could do more videos you know more often but you know because I have like a job you know what I'm saying innit? I'm trying to do my I have my own business and stuff like that it's kind of hard for me to do my YouTube videos as well and find time in today I did because I got off work early went to the gym you know leg day and then I had KFC I know it's bad you know, so I'm tired and I'm in a lot of pain, you know, and I watched The Hunger Games, the film was alright, don't know what I liked about it, but the film was alright, can't tell you what I liked about it, but you know, it's what it is. You know, and I had some time left before I go to bed, so I thought, let me do a video where I just talk about Street Fighter V, let's do this thing. The Charlie National Field video that came out, Capcom video game, P PS4, PSC exclusive. Now I thought, so, it's really cool, the video, I love the video, love the music, love what they do with the game, and I thought it was actually important. Before we get into that, thank you. You know what it is, Dante, B Wiz, love you, B Wizard Chamber, Dante, Taya. You know how I feel about Dante already. That is my boy. I love that character. Dante, everything. That's my boy, Charlie Nash, and the stuff that video. Um, I love that video. It was hype. The music, the combos, the moves, everything about it. I loved it. His name is Charlie Nash. In America, they call him Charlie and Europe. In Japan, they call him Nash. Now, this version of Charlie, we're not going to call him Charlie, we're going to call him Nash. Now, when you look at Nash, that is basically Shadow. Marvel's Street Fighter, he was called Shadow, and he was literally just a silhouette. Now, the reason I call him Shadow is because if you look at this version, he's got half metal, half flesh body. Look at him. You know what I mean? The guy's in pieces. Parts of him is completely gone and replaced with like a complete metal version. But it's not a machine. It's because it's, you can see it's like staples. Basically, it's like Frankenstein because he's got staples in him. You know, and that's what I kind of thought when I saw the first trailer of a Street Fighter, a demo, I thought it was going to be more realistic and grounded. Even though, how realistic do you get when you see kind of like mad water effects and um, electricity dengine fireballs and super kokoken fireballs and all this this type of crazy stuff I know I know I know but I thought it was because if you look at the stage that they were using the stage is from Resident Evil 6 the China stage in Resident Evil 6 look at Chris's Leon's Ada's Jake's Leon's whoever story you want to Resident Evil 6 they all had the China stage 2 out of 5 used the China stage so I thought to myself I'm gonna talk about this video but I still like it I love the way Charlie looks some people which are like Charlie purists are not going to like it you know but it's only gonna be a few people that are Chinese Ch um, Charlie I'm calling him Charlie Nash purists right that are going to look at Nash and say I don't like him that is not the Charlie that I knew it is what it is and there's not gonna be many people that actually know who Charlie is as I thought let me do a little bit of a video where I talk about Charlie who is Charlie Charlie he is from 
from Street Fighter the Alpha series. Was he mentioned in Street Fighter 2? Yes he was, but he wasn't in Street Fighter 2. It was Guile. He's Guile's best friend, or the guy that taught Guile Sonic Boom Flash Kick. It was Nash that taught it to him. Charlie had a move called the Shadow Shell Flash Kick. That was Shadow's version. It was basically called the Moon Shell Flash Kick, right? But Shadow's version was called the Shadow Shell Flash Kick. And then you had another move that is in this one, which is brand new. It's just got like a shoulder tackle. He slams you into the floor by your head. And it looks almost a little bit like um, Brian Fury from Street Fighter Cross Tekken's Flying Knee, right? But they added the shoulder tackle and he grabs your face and slams it into the floor. Whereas Brian Fury from Street Fighter Cross Tekken used his legs and just slammed you into the floor. But the animation looks kind of similar. You know, they can reprogram that kind of stuff. But they're not reprogramming nothing. They're not using older assets. Everything is brand new. So I'm not going to put Capcom Blast for that. The game looks amazing and I'm very, very happy with it. I'm just saying what it reminded me of. He had like a reverse moonsault slash. That's what is originally called in the Alpha series. But this is Shadow and it was called the Shadow Salt Slash. Which is like an overhead reversal Shadow shell flash kick it's a reverse version and you can clearly see he's in the air because i've watched the trailer a lot of times and he's actually in the air when he performs that move he's also got a new reverse black back kick where it's like he hits you and you fly across the screen horizontally and then he can zone you out i think but then he's got another version where he hits you more vertically towards the floor to set you up for setups and this motherfucker's got some setups because if you look at that carefully he's got a teleport as well but he could teleport straight up or he could teleport above, behind you, or just directly behind you. Now, if you look at this trailer, he does a teleport. Where he teleports directly above Chun Li, and he does a jumping hard kick. Now, that is so ambiguous to block. I couldn't tell which side to block on, but it got me excited. I was mad hyped for that. Yeah, you know, Charlie, and he's a US soldier, you know, um, US military with Guile. He's a two time US champion, Ken's the new current um, champion. Um, I don't know what. Um, Charlie's story is if I'm absolutely honest with you and um, okay look it's Street Fighter cross um, Street Fighter versus X-Men he got shot by a helicopter beat Bison when he was gonna take Bison in Shadowloo helicopter came and shot him in the back that's how he died Alpha 2 he actually defeated Bison teamed up with Guile beat Bison destroyed the Shadowloo headquarters he just went AWOL he went missing in action he was gone Alpha series he actually beat Bison but then he got shot in the back when Bison was on the floor, Bison shot him in the back. But the original story is Bison just straight up killed him. So I don't know what the story is with Charlie, it's convoluted at best. And let's, let's not, not forget, Marvel vs Street Fighter, Charlie was Shadow. But then in Marvel vs Capcom 2, which was released long after, like afterwards, like a couple years after Marvel vs Street Fighter, which he appeared as Shadow, which basically was, was the version of Charlie when he was supposed to be dead. In Marvel vs Capcom 2, he came back as normal Charlie. He he was normal Charlie so I don't know what the law is with Nash or whatever but that's his story variant stories that they keep on rebooting every single version of Street Fighter you know and let's not forget Alpha series is set before Street Fighter 2 so yeah I was excited about it you know another thing that's very important to look at in this game is that the game has got links chains and it's got the magic series magic series is very very strange to have that in Street Fighter because only certain characters have magic series you know but it is what it is you know because we're seeing a lot of stuff in this game like guard breaks and launchers and stuff like that and what you could see in this was magic series is when you go from light all the way through to heavy so you go light medium hard and you, in this one you saw Charlie actually did do crunching light punch standing like medium kick standing hard kick and it combo and as well he did a chain combo he did standing me light punch medium punch sonic boom and he did two sonic booms like an ex sonic boom or whatever you know it's actually i'm i'm high i'm high that's magic series links are when you combo light punch a normal move into another normal move combo not chain chain is when you cancel a normal move into a normal move so you go light medium punch straight away like bam bam and it just cancels into each other right well the light cancels into the heavy move. link is when you like a light punch into a medium punch or a medium punch into a light punch you wait for so you can press medium punch you press medium punch and then you basically wait for the animation of the medium punch to end then you press light punch that's called a link normally these are like one frame links or two frame links sometimes even three frame links that was and yeah chains is when you just combo bam bam into from light to from light into a, a more stronger attack so you could do sometimes you could do light heavy or medium heavy or 
light medium. So yeah, it was very exciting to see. Like you can see he's got rushed down, you know what I mean? Because like he's got all his like the, the new moves. The one thing I will say about him is his shadow shell flash kick. It did look more like a genocide cutter than a flash kick. But for me, I'm cool. I'm happy with it. As I said, a lot of Charlie purists are not going to like it. I loved it. I was hype about the channel and I'm still hype about it. I still can't stop watching it. I've watched it like over a hundred times already. The hundredth time feels like the first time I've watched it. And that's when you know something is godlike. When you can watch it so many times and you still can't stop watching it. He has this level 3 final mission super. And yeah, that super is a level 3 super final mission. It's been like a raging demon, you know, he just hits you, just hits you, and then you just go into the darkness, the abyss, and he just murders you. You know, that's for Marvel vs. Street Fighter. You know, as I said, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, he was called Shadow. That's why in this game, I'm calling him Shadow Knack, and I'm calling all his moves Shadow the Shadow versions. You know, because, as I said, an example, his move was called Moonsault Slash. But I'm not calling it that, I'm calling it the Shadow Salt Slash. Godlike trailer, hype about it, you know, I hope you are too. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about the um, Charlie Nash Shadow trailers from Street Fighter V. I'm excited about it. I'd like to hear what you guys got to say about it. This is like a little breakdown of the trailers, hype about it. What it told you, a little bit about his backstory, a little bit about who this character is um, a little bit about his moves what's new what's old I said the shoulder tackles new and thanks for watching so live fabulously and be safe